You know, nowadays our smartphone connects us to just about everything we need to know in life. And it's all stored on something called the cloud. But have you ever wondered where all that information on the cloud is really stored? It means a massive amount of data information and the infrastructure and cabling to connect to it, as you're about to see. Today, we're in the midst of a digital revolution that is impacting every aspect of our lives, from healthcare and financial services to video gaming and social media. Yet this technology push is still only in its infancy as the world constantly searches for more ways to store all this information in what has come to be known as the cloud. Well, the cloud's actually an amazing thing. In such a short period of time, it's become an essential service for all of us. When you think about it, it's really just infrastructure and a delivery system for on-demand ubiquitous computing. It's at our fingertips 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It means secure storage of all that data and information in large-scale data centers around the world. Like this new two million square foot facility in Chandler, Arizona, one of over 40 data centers operated by Cyrus One. At Cyrus One, we believe building to scale is the key. So our ability to stand up a data center in less than six months from the time we get a permit to the time it's commissioned really makes us stand out in the industry. We have 81 acres of land out here. We've been developing for the last five years. Well, you don't realize it, but when we're standing here on the data center floor, we've actually passed through seven distinct layers of security. Everything from the guards and the gates out front, the biometric readers, just to get into the hall. But each one of these cages that you see around us is an individual customer's suite containing their servers, their applications, and their networks. The only way into that is if you're a customer and you've been pre-cleared to enter. So security is incredibly tight in these data centers. The other aspect is the internet can't go down. You have to have access to this information at all times. All of this infrastructure and all of this knowledge has to physically be stored somewhere. So when you think of the clouds, when you think of Cyrus One, we are the sky for the cloud. But in order to use this vast database of information, you still need to connect to it. It requires an infrastructure of technology, communication, and cabling needs to not only retrieve the information, but also connect to it to the world and our involvement in it. From a support standpoint, it's there's millions and millions and millions of miles of fiber optic infrastructure predominantly supporting uh, all the data traffic you know, across the U.S., across the world. It's a very complex thing with, when we talk about a data center with millions and millions of connection points, um, somebody has to manage that infrastructure that supports those points of entries uh, for that data to flow correctly. You know, we like to say that, you know, our technology infrastructure makes life easier. As a leading architect of technology infrastructure, IES Communications has built some of the largest and most sophisticated and secure data centers in the U.S. and has been providing global connectivity in data centers of all kinds, even in artificial intelligence platforms, to help change everything from farming to traffic planning. Today, not a day goes by that the majority of the population does not use a device or service that IES has connected. Some of these large applications that we use in social media are buildings that are million square feet, and there might be five or ten of them across the United States by each application. The infrastructure of the data center is probably the most important just because all of these computers need to talk to each other, and they're connected through fiber optics and copper cabling. You know, that's the infrastructure that IES builds in these data centers. Um, so it's very important because every day people are using the, the cloud and the speed of the cloud to get that information to their daily lives. And an integral part of this data infrastructure is constant training and education and community involvement that is needed to prepare for the next new technology that will require data storage. For us it's mission critical because that is what our customers expect from us to come in and provide to them is that we are going to install it correctly, that everybody will have no break in their service in anything that they're trying to access, whether it's a photo that they posted five years ago or to do a banking transaction. So we make sure that we can get wherever they are and be able to do on-the-job classroom. We have e-learning uh, courses that people can take to stay fresh on everything. Um, and also, 
it's technology, so it's changing every day, and we need to be current on what those needs are. Data is becoming everything. Computers are being turned into data. Money is being turned into data. Trying to imagine what this is all going to look like 10 to 15 years from now is, is well beyond me. But I can tell you this trend is going to continue and we're becoming a digital society. And that has to reside somewhere secure, safe and reliable. And that's the business we're in. It means educating the public and continually adapting technology to make data storage smaller and more efficient to reduce the carbon footprints of large scale data centers and office buildings while at the same time increasing the amount of digital information that can be stored for all of us to use in those data centers that have come to be known as the cloud.